Hello, West Oregon sports fans, and welcome back for this preview edition of Wolves Weekly. I'm talking to head coach Steve Anchetta. We also have a special guest in the studio again today, Taylor Thompson. Just want to make a mention as we preview not just the soccer match, we're going to really preview the homecoming weekend, which is all kicked off by you guys. We'll, we'll get back to those details here soon. But I want to talk to you very first. Just want to make note, Western Oregon right now is 5-5-3 five, five, and three on the season. 4-3-2 and two in the GNAC, giving you guys 14 points as you guys are right there in the race for the top four in the conference. Well, I mean, we've we, we got to be really excited um, as a whole uh, program right now that uh, we've made, to, made some changes and people have been working hard. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, two, two top opponents that are ahead of us in the standings and uh, see what we can do this weekend at home. Fantastic. We just want to make a mention to you. There is no, as you've talked about before, there's no GNAC tournament this year, but I know one of those goals, at least in future seasons, as I know you're always going to have a goal to win a league, but you've got to at least always be wanting to get in that tournament. So it's nice to see you guys creeping up towards the top and just wanted to make mention of that one, of how proud everybody is around here of the soccer team and the way you guys have really changed the game and made it very enjoyable to watch out there. Well, we're, we're excited and we hope that uh, is going to bring more fans to us starting this weekend. Fantastic. Well, as we talked about before, the first match will actually be on Thursday. You guys will play Central Washington at 3 p.m. I'd like to cut over to Taylor, who's actually going to possibly give us a little preview of this match coming up against the Wildcats, who you guys had a really tough battle with up on the road at Ellensburg. Yeah, we had a rough first half when we played them up there, and then second half we came back and I think won the second half. We should have beat them, we outshot them, but sometimes they don't fall, but we finally started finding ways to score, so hopefully come Thursday we can put a couple in and Proved to the coach, especially up there, who had said some things about us about our previous years that that's not the team we are anymore. What will be some of the keys for you guys to possibly be able to get a couple of those extra goals or a couple of extra shots off and, and get those goals to go into the net? To make sure we work on our placement that we've been doing and just to really have the confidence when we have the ball up there. And you guys will be faced with another very tough opponent on Saturday when you guys take on Seattle Pacific at 11 a.m. They are the defending conference champions in first place right now and we know that as Coach Enchetta has mentioned before you guys seem to like the opportunity to go against the best. Talk to me about that team Seattle Pacific and what you guys are going to need to be prepared for. Well, there's no doubt Seattle Pacific's a great team. We're hoping to get up to their level sometime and I don't think we're far from it but we just need to have confidence when we play them. I think that's a big key to our team is to really have the confidence that we need and to know we can play with anyone. Fantastic, Taylor. Really like hearing from you over there. Uh, I want to come back a little bit and talk about the matches with you, Steve, and what are some of the goals you're hoping to get out of the weekend? Always a win, but what are you hoping to see for this weekend from your team? Well, you know, it still goes back to the whole season, and our, our season was about being competitive in every game, and uh, we're still pushing for that. And, uh, you know, Thursday, uh, Central, you know, we gave them a tussle up there in their house, so. They know that uh, we're going to be ready at home, and uh, we look forward to it being a great game on Thursday um, against Central Washington. And as I've mentioned before, you guys actually kick off a full day of Western Oregon athletics on Saturday. The soccer match will be at 11 a.m., followed by the football homecoming game against Humble State with first place on the line there at 2 p.m. Volleyball will then take on Seattle Pacific as well, another team sitting in second right now, but right there near the top, the defending GNAC champions at 7 p.m. So Western Oregon fans really have a chance to come out and support a whole day of Western Oregon athletics. It's always great to have the fan support behind you. I know the women like playing in front of some packed stands out there and just get an opportunity to, to wear your colors with some pride and get to watch some great day of collegiate athletics. Yeah, I think it's just a great week for, for the university and uh, the homecoming week and seeing all the colors around and uh, all the great events that are happening and uh, hopefully the school really just enjoys all the athletic games on Saturday and being uh, supportive. We just want to say really enjoyed having you in studio today as well as Taylor Thompson. I just want to say thank you to everyone for watching this edition of Wolves Weekly.